we get a virtual drone which is represented on our screen as a cube and we place them one by one over the image that we want to create and that basically gives us our rough outline of what we're trying to make. Once that's done, we can finesse it and make it much more beautiful with lights and colours. Once we had a poem in place from the Coventry Poets, those words inspired the visuals that you will see in the sky to create a feature-length drone show, something that will really inspire the people of Coventry to connect to nature on a deep level. So the animation that we make on our screens is exactly the same as the animation that you'll see in the sky, because all that positional data, the exact positions, gets replicated by our pilots of our swarm. So behind us we've got all 360 aircraft layered out. You can see four different access points and two directional antennas and they all connect to a wireless network. So the available space that the drones have to fly in, or as we call it, the flight volume, is 300 metres wide by 115 metres high and it's about 75 metres deep, which means that the drones have an enormous canvas for the show that should be able to be seen from around commentary. <laughs>
animals because we have animals just like other animals. Even though we don't look like animals, we could still be animals but look different. And if we don't look like animals, we still try to fit into nature just like the animals do. Streets into a wilder future. 